covering quite a bit of this crash course to JavaScript. We're almost there. There's two more kind of big lessons that we need to talk about. The first big one is going to be called conditionals. And what are conditionals? So that's logic, logic with JavaScript. And I'll write it here in our notes. And what that means is imagine we had a variable called amount equals 25. And then we had another variable called, uh, we'll call it count. I don't know. It could be anything really. And we'll call this 30. A conditional is when we're comparing two variables to see what the result is. So we could do something like this. If amount is equal to the count, we'll log it matches and when javascript runs it's running line by line all the way down so it's going to read these variables find out they exist keep running run this conditional and then it will say hey if the amount is equal equal which is the way to say if it's equal to the count we'll log it otherwise we can do an else statement we'll say it does not match and we'll refresh, it does not match. If I would change the count to 25, it matches, it works. There are a ton of different ways to do conditionals. For example, we could do is if the amount is less than or equal to the account, it matches, which it does. We have 25 is less than than 30, but if we would change this to 50, 555, it does not match. You could do, is greater than or equal to, or is less than or equal to the count. So if the amount is equal to 30 or lower, it's a match. So we could put 30 here, it's a match. We could put 29, it's a match. We could do negative 500, it's a match. Uh, this goes beyond numbers. For example, we could do strings. We could have, let's just comment this out and do a new one. So we could do my string is equal to hello. And we could do if hello is equal to my string. And this is all just for learning the syntax. And we'll, we'll do real examples of this later. If hello is equal to my string, it matches. So we're matching a string to a variable. If for whatever reason, this variable got reassigned to not to buy. It no longer matches. Pretty cool. Uh, it goes a little bit further than this. If you guys want to, like, if you remember with those numbers thing, again, we have another one we should probably talk about, which is, let's actually copy and paste the amount one. And so... What if we lost track of what was a number and what was a string? Well, we could do this. So if the amount of string 30 is equal to the count of number 30, what's gonna happen here? It's gonna say it matches and it works because it's just gonna assume that we, we were trying to get that to work. But if you wanted it to be more specific, we could do is definitely equal to as an exact match, which is just a way to say the types have to match too. So this does not match, but if we made the other one a string, it would match. That's pretty neat. This goes, if you want to do opposite logic, such as like a not, you could do something like this. So if, and we'll get rid of doing the type checking and we'll just pick a random number, nine. So if the amount is not equal to the count. It is not a match. And we're going to swap these. So if we're reading this, if amount of nine is not equal to the amount of 25, that's even though that's saying that's a negative, it's a success. It does not match. It does not match. If we do 
25, it is a match. And that's kind of the opposite logic. That's how conditionals work in JavaScript. 